All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be going over Sans 4 500. Quick review, my thoughts on the course and you know how it helped me. I'm going to come out <laughs> blunt with it. This course is one of my favorite Sans course, and it actually had a positive and, and life changing uh, effect on my career path. And we'll talk more about that uh, later on in the video. It's going to be relatively short. Before 500, right? Windows Forensic Analysis. Um, the certification that accompanies this uh, training is GCFE, which is GAIAC Certified Forensic Examiner, right? Guys, 4 500, it's amazing. Now, you may be thwarted off by the title, oh, Windows Forensic. Yes, it covers a lot of what Windows Forensic artifacts, but what deep, what's deep about this course, it also co covers cloud forensics, right? Amongst, you know, Azure, AWS, GCP, it covers email forensics using... The Metaspike tool, F-E-I, I think that's how it goes. <laughs> it covers also browser-based forensics, right? So very, very interesting uh, topics. Um, if you go to the website right here, you can see a quick overview of the syllabus, right? It does cover some easy tools, right? Basic easy tools. And you can see it jumps into some cloud and all that good stuff. So pretty, pretty solid course. A lot of information. It could feel like a water hole, but if you're like immersed in it, you're gonna come out with some good knowledge. Now you do come. It does come uh, with the Sans Windows SIF workstation. And funny enough about that, I was a primary. I was primarily a Mac user for many years. Um, this was the only Sans course. I, I just couldn't do it on on Mac, my my current Mac setup. So I had to actually get this PC right here. This is the one I'm filming this uh, video on. Um, I got me an Asus Rogue. Right now, the I think that I'm running a two terabyte with a 32 gigabyte RAM stick. I had to purchase this PC just for this course and subsequent Sans courses because I just couldn't do the rest on my Mac. Um, so very interesting, and I think it was worth it as well too. Um, let's see, there we go. Yeah, you got to learn a lot about Cape. You know, and actually, let me actually show you this real quick. I didn't have this plan, but if I go to my website real quick, um, if you go to blogs. Um, some of the blogs I used to do early on, let me just bring this out, like stuff like this. I learned all this for four or 500, right? Creating a USB stick with forensic tools and data acquisition tools and all that good jazz, right? Magnet. And yes, the course does come with Magnet Axiom license, like a fourth month license. That tool is extremely powerful. Um, I heard it's used in LE, law enforcement. So very, very solid tool. Um, Right here, this is my blog on Magnet Forensic and just, you know, examining stuff with it. I will say Magnet Forensic is not stressed too much in the latest course as it was many moons ago. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, browser Forensic, which was one of my favorite subjects within the course, right? I did some cool, cool things. I, I believe my previous video I just launched uh, yesterday covered Browser Forensic uh, on Stock Shock, right? So... A lot of, lot of interesting things you could find in this course, and I, I just did so much knowledge outside of it. Let me see what else. Yeah, so one thing the course does not cover, it does not cover memory forensics, right? So I got to put that out there. It doesn't cover memory forensics, sadly. Um, that's going to be in the 4508 course, right? It's, as you could say, the, the it's <laughs> next course, right? 4508, that covers memory forensic and other stuff as well, too, so... That's it from the course perspective. Again, the syllabus, and I'll link it below. This is all the content. Again, a lot of a lot of good stuff, man. Oh my gosh, the tools. There's a plethora of tools, even some paid tools you get subscriptions to, which I think it mentions it down here. Um, so that's it for the courseware. Again, really, really good. There we go. So you're gonna get licensed to all four of these tools. This is really cool. Fox and Browser History Examiner. Pretty cool. Metaspike. Man, this tool is crazy, right, for email analysis. I will say also, there is a capstone challenge right here. Really cool capstone challenge to really take your friends' skills to the next level, right? So check that out. It's really fun. I won't spoil it. Super cool. So, hey, let's uh, – oh, let, also, let me talk about the examination before I go into other resources you may see as ancillary or prerequisites. It's, it's up to you. Um, the exam, right, the certification, if you go over here, it is a cyber live exam. So what does that mean? Alongside multiple choice, you will have lab-based questions. Again, all the lab-based questions are based on the course materials, 
right? So keep that in mind. I will mention this without giving too much away. Every single lab is testable, even configurations, right? <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. So keep that in mind. Very solid course. And let me show you how this course actually, you know, changed my life a little bit. Uh, we'll show that soon. But let me give you some prerequisites or ancillary courses as well, too, right, while we're already on it. Um, 13 Cube, right, has a cool course on investigating Windows Endpoint. This could be a great prerequisite into 4500 or something you could do on after 4500. Um, it's, it's up to you. It's really, really solid course. I'm not done with it yet, but really, really good stuff. And it, 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 st it stays true, right, when it comes to Windows Forensic. Um, so you could definitely check that out. I think the course is running. Oh, the price went up. So it's running around 800 if budget is a thing, you could check out um, Marcus' course on PWI, Practical Windows Forensic. Now, he has this on three different platforms. TCM, right, if you have the all-access pass, or you could go on Anti-Siphon Training. He has it there. And he also has it on his website called Blue Cape uh, Security, which you can see right here, which I believe the course is running for, I think, 150 bucks. Uh, but this is a solid Windows Forensic course. This course actually helped me build a forensic workstation. So obviously in 4500, you come with a pre-built forensic workstation with all the tools, right? Ubuntu subsystem, all that good jazz. This course covers how to build it from scratch. So really, really cool stuff. So definitely check it out if you can. Um, that's that. Now, how did 4500 help me, right? Okay, you, you did the course, you passed the exam. How did it help you? Well, first it you know, got me into this graduate program, obviously other things as well too, but I'm in this graduate program for digital forensic because I, I, I fell so in love with it after the four or 500. I'm like, I got to learn more, right? So I'm doing this right now. Um, challenging, challenging, but it, it's some good stuff. I'm picking up some good knowledge. It covers like, for example, this is one of a, one of the assignments, one of the assignments I did, one of my favorites. I had to do a forensic investigation report. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think these three courses cover report writing in like in detail too much. Uh, but I will say, you know, out of this degree, I'm getting a lot of information when it comes to report writing, right? The legal side of things. And, I, <laughs> and actually speaking of legal side, I'm gonna give you guys a good book. I referenced in my last video, but yeah, just check out this report, man. Clean, right? It, this, this case was pretty much investigating a employee named John Doe. He was doing some funny stuff on, uh, his workstation and you know people people reported that in reported that in so I got a I, got, I think I got a in case output of his laptop and then went from there and these are the tools I use again many of these tools I learned for four or five hundred magnet came in a good rack so now you don't want to be a crush on one you know sorry you don't want to use one tool as a crush you want to be disparate with your your, your tools so you know move around with that so yeah look at this clean report artifacts right key artifacts to look into. Even if digital forensic is not your ideal career field, these are some important artifacts to just keep in mind, right? Hyper, hyper fills, right? Which is pretty much uh, a memory dump that's staved on the system, right? After the system hibernates um, and all that good jazz. So other cool stuff like that. Yeah, look at this report. Ugh, clean. <laughs> Appendices, got my magnet output in there. I got some hindsight output. And other cool things as well too. Um, that's that. Um, let me actually showcase this real quick to you guys as well too. Uh, if you do look into digital forensic, right? DFIR investigator mindset. Definitely check this book out. Now this is something you. Oh, what? Where is it? This is a book that you'll. Okay, I didn't type it in right. Let me type in Brett Shavers. This is a book that you could look into after taking the technical courses. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> For some reason, it's not popping up. Um, but this is a book called DFIR Investigator Mindset by Brush Shavers. There he is. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I guess that's not the actual title. Okay. It's Placing the Suspect Behind the Keyboard. DFIR Investigator Mindset. Definitely check this out. Book's really, really good. It covers the mindset of a DFIR investigator, right? DF investigator. So yes, get your technical training with these three or four. Yeah, three courses right here. And if you want to expand your mind, definitely check out um, this book. Really, really good stuff. Um, aside from that, if you are looking for like practice labs, don't get me wrong, 4500 has a lot of 
course materials to practice on. You could check out platforms like Cyber Defender. Um, I've been on their platform recently, um, going over some. They had their platform is pretty much built around DFIR and um, digital forensic. They have a lot of cool digital forensic labs like Amedi. I think Amedi's one. Uh, Reveal is another good one. Um, just check it out. That's tons of digital forensic labs. They actually give you the artifacts, so you could use it on your personal computer, or you could actually um, use their cloud-based labs as well, too. And again, other labs I created, right? Um, if we do something like, let me just type in this, like, Chameleon. These are labs I created. Uh, let's see if I can find a write-up real quick. Mm, see if I can quickly find a write-up. So I made labs on the BTLO platform as well, too, if you guys want to check that out, like labs like Cerulean. Let me just type in write up because um, I was so in love. Yeah, there we go. OK, let me see. OK, I may not find anything here. OK, he, no, Cerulean. Let me type in Aspen, see if that comes up. Uh, all right. For some reason, I'm not finding it. but. There's a lot of cool labs on the BTLO platform that can help you when it comes to digital forensics. Uh, let me see if my, my guy Chicken has something. Hold on. I know he has a write-up. Okay. Mm, let's see if he has write-ups on here. But pretty much, yeah, there's a lot of cool BTLO labs you can check out. Just check out the uh, digital forensic category. You can check out uh, all the labs on there. There we go. Aspen, right? This lab is a cool lab that covers um, pretty much activity. Right, you're, you're trying to find activities. Somebody has uh, access Dr. Lovelace's laptop and you're just using digital forensics to investigate uh, for any activity or breach on the PC. I have other labs like Type R, which covers USB forensics. Uh, Cerulean covers Magnet, right? So you get to use Magnet in the lab. And I have some other ones I'm forgetting. Uh, Volpine covers Firefox forensics, so on and so on. So a lot of content out there. A lot of good stuff to practice your digital forensic skills. And another thing as well, too, you know, get a VMware, get a hypervisor, right? Uh, attack a machine and then capture artifacts and examine what was what was captured, what what, what was uh, uh, monitored on the system. There's a lot of cool ways you could go with this, but hopefully this video was informative. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Best of luck. Four or five hundreds. Amazing. Uh, good content. And yeah, take care, guys. Peace.